everyone. Welcome to my channel and welcome back to my subscribers. Thank you for your support. Always here on YouTube, Facebook, Ko-fi, and the Etsy store. So today we are going to do a project with some corrugated board. Okay, let's get started. So I've cut up a, a box and I'm peeling back the layer because I want to get to the corrugated board. And I got a pretty clean, pretty clean peel. Um, if you get some of the paper left over, that's fine. Actually, I like that a little bit uh, better. It's a nice uh, look to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this down to a tag size and I'm going to make the tag, uh, uh, let's see, two and seven eighths of an inch this way and five inches this way. So let me cut the tag down. I'm going to keep um, the back side of this because I'm going to paint. And uh, I think uh, keeping the back side of the paper will probably help to keep the, uh, the tag from uh, warping too much once I put paint on it. And remember to save what you've peeled away because you can use it uh, to create snippets, um, you know, a little snippet roll or some clusters or, you know, you could stamp on it. So uh, hold on to what you've peeled away. Okay, I'll be back. So I've got my Mod Podge down and before it dries, I want to get my digital. Uh, I want to get my digital down as well. So I'm going to let that dry and then we'll work on getting this side ready. Okay. So I am using some acrylic white paint and I'm just going to paint on to the corrugated board. So I'm going to let this dry and then I'll do another layer. I don't want to make it too wet because I don't want things to start warping. Okay, so I did put on a second coat of white paint. It did start to bend a little bit, but I was very easily able to bend it right back into shape. Next, I used the vintage photo and I did some distressing around. And then I used the distressed crayon brass. And um, I just went over the edges where I did the distressing. Um, I put a few streaks here on the corrugated board. And now I have uh, a few things to do some embellishing for the tag. So let me do those things and then we'll be back to wrap it up, okay? One thing I want you to notice with the specimen slide, if you look on the back, the brads, they're not through the back. I put them, I tuck them uh, in the in between the uh, the pages that you use to develop the specimen slide. Um, originally, I had them going through the back, but then it would be difficult for me to glue down my specimen slide. So I put them in the middle here. So now I won't have issues gluing my paper down. Alrighty. Okay, so I did get things on our tag and you've seen me do this before where I've taken a specimen slide and I have turned it into a pocket. So I just want to finish things off that way. 
And this is the front of the tag. This is the back of the tag. It's a line digital, so you can do some journaling. And that is our project for today. Okay, everyone. If you like this video, please share, please hit the like button, and please subscribe. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.